Well, the street talk now and the other big battle, as mentioned, over warnable cheese and butter remains at fever pitch. Local dairy players Murray Goulburn and Bega Cheese are refusing to give up after the warnable board accepted a new $9 a share offer from Canadian dairy giant Saputo on Friday night. Both say the fight is far from over and Bega chairman Barry Irvin is preparing to visit Warrnambool on Tuesday and Wednesday to push his bid to farmers. But Warrnambool boss David Lord is adamant that Saputo is the best option for his shareholders, even though the implied value of Bega's cash and share offer is higher and Murray Goulburn's the same value. Saputo have also moved uh, to remove all conditionality uh, in relation to their, to their offer as of the 28th of November. So. Uh, for shareholders, that provides complete certainty. There is uh, significant uh, completion risk associated with the Murray Goulburn offer. MG need to uh, receive competition regulator clearance, and uh, we know that that uh, process could take uh, up to uh, between three and six months, and there is risk uh, for WCB shareholders in holding Vega shares into the future when. Uh, there is no guarantee about the value of, uh, of the, or the bigger share price uh, after the uh, a transaction would be completed. And for more breaking news on business deals, you can keep across the Street Talk website and daily in the Financial Review. Matt Perpetual has been selling down its shareholding in Warnable Cheese and Butter. Do you think it's reached its peak? Um, we've progressively, yeah, we haven't been significant shareholders or over 5%, but we've owned um, you know, some, uh, some good, decent holdings of both Warnable and Bega. And as these bids have progressed, we've sold down uh, our shareholding and to the, to the point where now we wished we maybe hadn't uh, as these bids have gone yeah. on. Uh, look, we've crossed, the, we've crossed the line between what was value to now strategic value, where valuation seemed to have gone out the window. It's now really about the strategic value of these assets in an in a, in a environment where China wants more milk, wants more dairy products, and this is very long run. Um, you know, shareholders are the winners, though, ultimately, yeah. from this. It's a fascinating battle on both fronts, Grain Corp and Warrnambool Cheese and Butter.